everyone, this lesson may be considered as the easiest topic of Gen Math. But still, learning it is, is essential for us because it is the core concept of mathematics. Hello, my name is Martin Javier from UNS 11-5 that will discuss to you the operations on function, addition, and subtraction addition. But, 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 but for us to move forward to our topic, let us first find out what is the meaning of functions. What is function? It is the relation between a set of inputs and a set of permissible output. It is the core concept of mathematics. But what is relation? It is the relation or connection between the sets of information. And now that we have learned these words, let's move forward to how to solve this addition and subtraction on function. Without further ado, let's do it. So, hi again. Um, before we move forward to this um, formula, before we discuss how to formulate addition in function, let me ask you a question first. Um, have you remember paano tayo mag-solve ng addition? Simply, like what we do in elementary or in high school. So, if you do remember that, um, then you can easily solve this one. Kasi, kaya na sinabi ko kanina, um, function, especially operation in function, on function, um, addition and subtraction is considered as easiest um, topic in general mathematics, especially in the first form. So, ayan. Okay, magalala mga upcoming 11 students, I agree 11 students. Madali lang dyan. Shami. Ayan. So, we start tayo sa formula. Ano ba yung ginagamit na formula for addition? So, we have this um, f plus g and then we have x equals to f of x plus g of x. So, ayan. Ibig sabihin, may kinakailangan tayo tatlong bagi. We start tayo sa f, then sa g, and then sa x. So, ayun. So, before we start, then, alam mo naman natin kung ano ba yung apat na given. So, ayan. Ang alphabetical yun. F of X, then G of X, and then H of X, and J of X. So, ayan. May tatlo tayong sasagutan in order for us to learn and apply addition in function, on function. So, let's first start in this one. Yeah. F of x plus g of x. So, ano nga ang value ng f of x in the given example? So, ito yun. 5x plus 4 and then negative 7x minus 2. So, papaano natin na doon yan? Ito yan. Gaya lang sa formula kanina, ang gagawin daw is f of x plus g of x. Ibig sabihin, ipagpa-plus mo lang yung dilawang given. Pero para natin nalun yan. So, ganito. Yalagay mo na natin yung formula para hindi tayo balito since mag-start pa lang tayo. And then, pag nalagay na, ilalagay din natin itong um, given na nasa example. So, yung f of x, nalagay mo sa ba ng 5x plus 4. Then, ilalagay mo yung symbol na plus and then, papalitin mo yun yung g of x ng negative 7x minus 2. Ang sunod ba? So, yun. Sinabstitute lang natin yun yung tawag yung substitute. Yun yung pagpapalit ng number i words into numbers. And then, we can now solve for it. So, ang unang gagawin, hanapin natin kung ano yung may magkaparehas na bago. Ano yung ibig sabihin natin pa ganyan? Di ba meron x dito? Then meron din x dito. Ibig sabihin, ito yung ipag-prepare mo. Ayan. Tapos, ayan. Tapos, hanap ulit tayo ng magkaparehas na value yung wala namang x. Since ito na yung dalawa. So, ang natira na lang is positive 4 and then negative 2. Yan. Yeah. Yeah. Then next, ano lang 
next natin gagawin. Ito na yung solve natin. 5x minus 7x. So, ano sa tingin niyo sa doon? The answer is negative 2x. So, ayan. After yun, ito na yung solve natin. Positive 4 minus 2. Ayan, tama. Negative 2. Ay, sorry. Positive 2. Ayan. Sorry. Pero, hindi dito matatapos yan. Kasi, if you need to factorize this answer, may iba yung sagot niya. Magiging ganito yan. From negative 2x plus 2, magiging negative 2. Then, close and open parenthesis, x minus 1. So, bale, pwede ito yung sagot. Pero pag need mo yung factorized answer, ito yung maging yung sagot. So, ayan. Let's give up. So, ayan. Let's have more two examples for us to really understand how to solve um, addition and function. So, for the next one, um, let's have h of x and then j of x. So, if makita niyo yung value na, is a substitute lang natin siya into this. So, ang value ng h of x is x squared. Then, j of x is x cubed minus dx plus 9. So, makita niyo, substitute lang natin in order for us to um, solve this. So, paano ginawa natin dito? Bakit wala mo siya to solve it? So, ito yan. Kagaya yung sinabi ko kanina, kailangan natin hanapin yung value, yung magkaparehas na value in sa other side. As you can see here, walang x squared sa kabilang set. So, may nakikita ba kayo? Wala. Then, tinitignan din natin, wala din yung x yung dito. Wala din 3x dito. Wala din single number dito. So, ibig sabihin, ibibring down lang natin lahat. Pero, ako ano, um, in order. So, paano natin nalagang yun? Mag-start tayo, tignan yung degree. So, ano ba yung degree? Ito yung nasa taas. Ayan yung Q, ayan yung square, and then yun. So, ibig sabihin, magsusumula tayo sa pinamang pinakamataas na degree na meron sa um, function na yun. So, start tayo sa x cube. So, ayan yun. x cube, and then x squared. Ayan. Tapos ito, negative 3x, ibababa din natin siya. And then ito, ibababa siya. So, it's diba? Nakita niyo kung paano yung um, uh, descending order yun. Uh, Nag-start sa pinakamataas, and then pababa siya. Itong x na to, ang value niya pala is 1. So, 3, 2, 1, and then pala na siya ang um, uh, wala ng letter din sa bilid ng number. So, we make it Then, let's move forward to our final example in additional function. Then, um, j of x plus g of x. So, kagaya ka rin na, kailangan natin substitute para ma-solve uh, natin yun. Um, j of x, ang value niya is x cubed minus dx plus 9. Then, negative 7x minus 2. So, paano natin ginawa yan? Kagaya natin na, hahanapin natin yung magkaparehas na value. So, ayan ang kita naman natin, wala na namang kasama yung x cube. So, ibig sabihin, ibababa na natin siya. Ayan, kagaya dito. Ayan. Pero, kung tinignan nyo, yung negative 3x and negative 7x, sino sila ng value? x yung nasa gilid nila. Ibig sabihin, 1 lang yung degree. That's diba? So, ano gagawin natin dyan? Natuwin natin, isisolve natin yan. Negative 3x, then negative 7x equals negative 10x. So, yan yung yung nalagin natin dito. Yan. Gets diba? Yan. Since magkapres sila lang ng ayun ang value, yun yung ipa-aayun uh, natin. Then, after nyan, makikita natin, meron na namang same na value. Yun yung 9 and uh, negative 2. So, anong gagawin natin dyan? I-formulate natin. So, 9 minus 2 equals 7. So, our final answer.
answer is x cubed minus 10x plus 7. So, do you get it? So, now that we are done discussing addition on function, let's move forward to the other um, uh, formula or symbol to um, formulate function. So, next na tayo. We're going to learn how to multiply. So, just like one of us, uh, earlier, before we start um, understanding the formula is naalala na ba ba kung paano mag-multiply ng LM or ng high school type. So, if you do, then you can easily understand this topic. So, ayun. Let's move to the formula. So, ang ginamit natin na symbol na nag add tayo is plus sign. Remember? But, in multiplication, um, we can use the symbol of x or we can also use this. That one. This. Dot. So, if you see um, dot or parentheses just like this, then you can already tell that see I, the operation that you're going to use is multiplication. Okay? So, um, so natin sa mga examples ng binigay ay this formula pala. So, multiplication, we're going to use the formula f times g, f times g then x is equal to f of x times g of x. So, almost the same Almost the same lang din siya sa addition of ang naiba lang is yung operation and yung symbol na gagawin. So, ayun. Ang given natin now is f of x is equal to 7x plus 9 minus g of i times g of x. Ay, sorry. Um, f of x is equal to 7x plus 9 then g of x is equivalent negative 8x minus 2 and then h of x is x squared and j of x is equal to x cubed minus 9x plus 3 so the first um, example that we are going or set of function that we are going to solve is f of x times g of x so gaya lang yun ang sa addition for us to um, solve the set of function is to substitute so from words, uh, from those letters, we are going to change it to the corresponding um, equivalent for these numbers. So, so f of x, um, equivalent is 7x plus 9, and then so g of x is negative 8x minus 2. In multiplication, we are going to use the method, the FOIL method. So, and to get it. Ang unang value, or ang unang, um, number dito, yun yung una ay yun yung una kita times dito. So, unang number naman sa panibagong parenthesis. Tapos, pag nasolve na yan, itong unang ano naman sa pangalawa siya. Ganun. Tapos, itong pangalawa sa una, then yung pangalawa ulit sa pangalawa. It's diba? Yan. So, let's solve. 7x times negative 8x is equal to negative 56 squared. Paano nangyari yun? Paano naging squared yun? So, pag nagmumultiply po tayo itong x, ipagpapas ng dito na. And as you, yung x na to is may ibalik to ka. So, x plus x is x squared. Then ito, ito times lang natin siya. Then, ang nakukuha natin is negative since ito, hindi sila same na uh, sign. Positive to, kasi ito negative. So, ayun. Negative 56 squared minus 14x kasi 7x times negative 2. So, next naman is 9 times negative 8x is 72x and then 9 times negative 2 is negative 8. So, so finally, ay simplify lang natin. So, gaya lang din sa addition kanina, hanapin natin yung mga value at yung mga set of function na may magkaparehang value. So, ito, nakikita natin, parehas silang may x. So, ano gagawin natin dyan? Ito, i... Uh, 
i-minus natin since ang katabi niya is ganyan. So, ang magiging sagot is 86x. Tapos ito, wala nang same value and ito, wala na rin. So, ito, bring it down, bring it down. Then, ito yung yung sagot dito, yun yung iba ka pa. Okay, gets nyo ba? So, our final answer is 356 squared minus 86x minus 8. So, to get it, so, let's move forward to the next um, example. Ito, mas madali na siya. X squared is multiplied by X cubed minus 9X plus 15. So, ito, mas madali na siya. Kasi isa lang yung um, number na nasa labas. So, ang gagawin natin, ito dito, ganit pangalawa, ganit pangalawa. So, X squared times X um, cubed is equal to X raised to 5. And then x squared times negative 9x is negative 9x cubed. And then x squared times positive 13 is um, 13x. So this is our final answer. So for our final example for multiplication is um, g of x times g of x. So our given is x cubed minus 9x plus 13 times negative 8x minus 2. So, kagaya yung gawa natin dito, ito una, dito, then dito, tapos yung pangalawa naman, dito, tapos dito, tapos yung pangatlo, dito ulit, tapos dito. Tignan nyo ba? Kaya na lang. So, lagi yung una, pangalawa, pangatlo, tapos ito naman, una, pangalawa, una, pangalawa, gata. So, ang value niya is negative 8x raised to 4 minus 2x cubed plus 72x squared plus 18x minus 104x minus 26. So, we're going to simplify that answer. And our final answer is negative 8x um, raised to 4 and then minus 2x cubed plus 72x squared minus 104x minus 26. So, nakikita nyo naman na yung degree is descending pababa siya. Ayan. Kagaya lang din ito, descending din siya. 5 and 2, na dito naman is 2, 1, then 1. So, I hope you learned a lot from this, um, um, from this, um, uh, tutorial. So, for us, to understand more and um, to know how much we understand this topic, we're going to have an activity. So I hope that you can answer it really well. So for us to apply the things that we have learned earlier, let's have a exercise activity. So the uh, not given lang yan, but uh, two ways, addition and subtraction. So bali six na given. So I'm gonna give you enough time to solve this and know if we, if we really understand the lesson. So let's start the timer. Now the time that now the now the time is done. Let's check your work. So, some of you might be confused bakit nagkaroon na ng X doon. So, nagkaya lang siya ng practice natin kanina. So, sa substitute lang natin. Since, nabigay naman na dun sa question yung given ng X, which is negative 5. So, let's start solving. Itong X magiging negative 5 and then itong um, 7X magiging 7. Then, so, sinapal tayo parenthesis, negative 5. And then, Plus 13. So, um, negative 5 raised to 3 is negative 125. Then 7. Then negative 5. Ang gagawin dito, pag may close enough in parenthesis, yung multiply yan. So, ang sagot is negative 35. Then, if you bring down lang ito, magiging um, plus 30. So, ang sagot, pag kinagkina natin yan is, Negative 125 minus 135 plus 30 is 147. So, yeah. 
Next one is, ayan, medyo mahaba-haba to, pero kaya. Kagaya na kanina, isa-substitute lang siya, then yung value ng x natin is 22. So, ayan, papalitan lang natin, x cubed minus 7 plus x plus 8x squared plus 13x plus 20. So, pagkat kahaba, kailangan kapiks yan. So, ang gagawin natin, hanapin natin yung may mag-save the value, which is uh, negative 7 and 20. So, pag negative 7 plus 20, ang maging isagot is 30. Positive 30. So, ayan. x cubed plus 8x squared plus 30x plus 30. So, Pag nagawa na natin yan, pag simplify na natin yung given, doon na natin sa substitute yung x into 22. So, ayan, kagaya na nina. Kagaya na ginawa natin sa given number 1, papalitan na din natin itong x. 22, 22, 22. So, 22 raised to 3, 8 times 22 raised to 2, 13, then times 22 plus 13. So, ang sagot, 1,006, I'm sorry, 10,648 plus 3,872 plus 286 plus 13 and the sum of it is 14,890. So, you get the answer and if you do, good job. Then, for the final example in addition, ayan, medyo mas napaisi na. Ito lang yung mahaba. So, ayan, kagaya na yung natin kanina, isa-substitute natin yung x into the given, which is negative 3. So, x cubed plus x squared plus 7x plus 23. So, ayan, nakikita na naman natin, naka-order na siya, so hindi na natin siya kailangan ayusin. After that, after that pwede na natin siya isa-substitute kasi makasimplify na yan. So, negative 3, negative 3 raised to 3, plus negative 3 raised to 2, plus 7 times negative 3, plus 23, then negative 27 plus 9, minus 21 plus 23, and the sum is negative 16. And if you have the same answer, I want you to drop. You do a good job. So, ayan. Let's move forward to the other one, which is subtraction for us to finish this topic. So, this is our activity for multiplication and we're going to answer this one, this one, and this one. So, I hope that you can answer it really well. So, you can take a screenshot of it for you to answer this. So, we're going to time it. I'm going to time you and see how fast and how big you can solve this activity. So, let's go. So, time is up. So, let's check if your work is, uh, if your work is correct. So, the first given is yeah. So, kagaya nung sa addition, baka nagtataka kayo, bakit may x na naman dyan? So, kagaya lang ng process, nung pagsasubstitute natin sa f, g, h, and j, papalitan lang natin ng x. Papalitan lang natin ng x kung sa anong value yung nakalagay. Kung wala, sa given kanya sa activity, ito yung value ng x. Ayan. So, isasubstitute lang natin siya. So, dyan siya magre-reflect. Yeah, that's the math. So, ayan. Let's check the first one. So, for um, f of i, f times g, then x is equal to x squared times 7x plus 30. One equals 7x cubed plus 31 x squared. So, f times g equals negative 9 equals 7x squared plus 31x, I, I'm sorry, 7x cubed plus 31x squared. Then, we're going to substitute the x into negative 9. So, ayan, nakita nyo. Then, after nyan, hindi natin isasama sa akal kung ito agad na 7, itong 31. Ito muna. 
to ang parenthesis in yung degree. So, ibig sabihin ito, uh, negative 9, we're going to times it. Negative 9, negative 9, then negative 9. Tatlong beses. Since cube siya. So, for this, ano naman, um, negative 81, it times din natin siya sa um, 81. Kasi may ano siya, may may 2. Sorry na wala. Pero may 2 yan sa taas. Para ito yung maging sagot. So, pag kinalitin natin, ay maging final na ano. Then, ipagaad to, negative 5, ay 5,103 plus negative 2, 5, 11. And our final answer is negative 7, 6, 1, 4. So, did you get it? Nakuha nyo yung tamang sagot. And if you work, and if you don't, um, hindi na lang kung paano natin na for ay nasolve itong first event. So, ayan. Second given naman is, ayan. Um, ito, yung x niya na is 17 and then ito yung magiging given substitute lock. So, 2x um, raised to 4 plus 94x cubed is equal to, so ayan, sa sub substitute uli natin yung x. So, 2, then parenthesis negative 17 raised to 4 plus 94, then parenthesis again, negative 17 raised to 3. Then, ayan. Ito, kagaya yung sinabi ko kanina, ito muna yung iya, ano. Kung ilan ang bilang dito, ganun karami ita times itong negative 7. So, halimbawa, apat na beses to ay for yung nakalagay, ibig sabihin, apat na beses natin, ita times yung negative 17 para makuha natin yung gantong answer. So, ayan. After nga, ito naman na yung pagka times. 2 times 8, 53,000 divided 21 is equal to, um, 167042 and then yung 94 naman ika times mo sa negative 4913 is equal to negative 461822 and our final answer is negative 294708 so ayan so, sino ulit nakakuha ng tamang sagot if you're correct, then give yourself a clap. Then, ikaw na po. Char. Then, our final given naman. Ayan, tapos na tayo. Patapos na. Ayan, so ang x natin is negative 3. Then, kagaya ng ulit-ulit natin ginagawa, substitute lang natin yung f and yung g. And also, yung x. So, ayan. Well, x raised to 5 plus 9 x raised to x cubed then substitute ulit ang makuha natin is 12 times negative 2 for 3 plus 9 ne times negative 27 so negative 2 9 1 6 plus negative 2 for 3 is equal to negative 3159 so Take a screenshot of this answer for you to understand how we solve this um, function, set of function. So, yeah. Learning this lesson is really crucial for us because operation and function can be used for almost all of the upcoming lessons in general mathematics, especially for grade 11 students like me and you. So I hope you take a really good advantage of this tutorial and you understand the lesson very well because if you don't, then you will ha have a hard time understanding the upcoming lessons in general mathematics. But I hope this video can help you learn me and learn this stuff. So, that's all. And before I end this educational video, let me leave you with this beautiful quote that I have heard. Shakuntala Devi once said, Without mathematics, there's nothing that you can do. Everything around you is mathematics. Everything around you is numbers. So that is all. Again, I'm Martina Javier from News 11-5 that taught you how to solve addition and subtraction on function. So that's all. Thank you. Goodbye.